riot flared in the hours after this morning's funeral for Freddie Gray, who died last week after his neck was broken while in police custody. Six officers are suspended pending an investigation. More than 2,500 mourners crowded into the new Shiloh Baptist Church, and Wyatt Andrews was there. Freddie Gray was buried shortly after his emotional funeral in which members of his family appeared to be near collapse. Several speakers here called Gray a martyr who died in the cause of exposing police injustice. Did anybody recognize Freddie when he was alive? Did you see him? Maryland see Congressman him? Elijah Cummings represents Baltimore. We will not rest. We will not rest until we address this and see that justice is done. All of the speakers called for nonviolent protest, but there was no masking a sense of anger in the community. I don't know how you can be black in America and be silent. This is the Reverend Jamal Harrison Bryant. After this day, we gonna keep on marching. After this day, we gonna keep demanding justice. Get your black self up and change this city. It has been two weeks since Gray was arrested after fleeing from police, but there's still no public explanation from any of the six Baltimore police officers involved. Billy Murphy is the attorney for the Gray family. We're calling for the police, the six of them who are at least being partially, if not totally, implicated to come forward and tell it all, just like you tell our citizens to do. The speaker who, the, the pastor who gave that spirited eulogy later went out into the streets to ask for calm. The Gray family has asked for calm. Scott, at this funeral, speaker after speaker challenged the community to show the world what Baltimore is made of, but all this violence is not what they were hoping for. Wyatt, thank you very much.